Hello everyone. Welcome back to Next Step Immigration. We hope you're doing great today. If you're considering migrating to Australia, the 189 visa for permanent residency might be your ticket to a brand new life. In this video, the Australian PR process for those without work experience will be discussed, along with the criteria, points required, and eligibility requirements. The emphasis is on the Skilled Independent Visa Subclass 189 which is the most common visa for skilled workers. Obtaining at least 65 points is one of the key requirements. English proficiency and occupations with a shortage of qualified candidates are additional requirements. After just two years of holding an Australian permanent residence, you may be eligible for Social Security benefits and Medicare coverage, which may help with the costs of visiting a doctor. There are two subclasses of the Australian PR visa, the Skilled Independent Visa 189 and the Skilled Nominated Visa 190. The Skilled Independent Visa does not require sponsorship, but the Skilled Nominated Visa does, and this is the fundamental distinction between the two. Skilled Independent Visa 189 Most persons who are interested in applying for Australian PR must have this visa. You may apply for this visa from anywhere in the world. You do not need to be in Australia to do so. You must be an international graduate or skilled foreign worker to qualify for this visa. When applying as an international graduate, you must have at least a degree, certificate, or trade certification. If you are a skilled worker, your work experience can come from anywhere in the world. What are the requirements? First off, your profession has to be on a shortage list if you have job experience. Every subclass of visas in Australia has a list of jobs that it is specifically targeted called a shortage list. If you have work experience and want it to count toward your degree, you essentially have to be employed in the same field. You'll need to get your skills assessed. Depending on your field of employment, you'll need to provide documentation for your schooling, employment history, and a processing fee of no more than 500 Australian dollars. English proficiency is the second requirement. In contrast to Canada, which awards points for both English and French, Australia only acknowledges the English language. For the 189 category, IELTS bands of at least CLB6 or higher is required. A points-based selection procedure that considers your human component, your age, your education, your job experience, and other considerations is used for the 189 subclass of the Skilled Independent Visa. You must get at least 65 points on the points-based selection process in order to be eligible. As your score rises, your chances of selection rise as well. Your work experience must be related to the field of study for which you are applying, otherwise, you won't be given credit for it. Education If you have at least a bachelor's degree, you'll get 15 points. As long as your education fulfills Australian educational standards, you can achieve this without having attended school in Australia. Although a bachelor's degree is the bare minimum required, your education from your home country will also be taken into consideration. If you are single, you will get 10 more points. Nevertheless, getting married does not make you lose these benefits. There is a way to compensate for these shortfalls if you're married. However, your spouse will also need to take the IELTS exam and score well to gain 5 points. For an extra 5 points, your spouse must also hold a bachelor's degree or higher. That will be all in this video. Please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell to receive updates on job and immigration news. Thanks for watching. Good luck.